what do you think industrial cities of the future will look like? If you're picturing a megacity 33 times the size of New York, shaped like an octagon and floating in the sea, then you and the crown prince of Saudi Arabia have something in common. In 2021, Mohammed bin Salman announced plans for the Oxagon, an industrial city on the Red Sea that is changing everything we know about what smart cities will look like. The project is a part of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's Neom City, a $500 billion smart metropolis that will span 263,000 hectares and comprise 10 distinct regions. The Oxagon is the industrial heart of Neom, acting as a port and logistics hub. Part of the development will come up on the southwest corner of Neom, while part of the unique octagon will stick out into the Red Sea near the Suez Canal. When this project is realized, it will not only be the world's largest floating structure, but also its first 100% renewable industrial smart city. But why does it have to be shaped like that? And how is it redefining the industrial city as we know it? Let's take a closer look at the details of this project of staggering scale. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman released the plans for the Oxagon back in 2021. He claimed that the smart city will completely redefine how the world looks at industry and create a new focal point for global trade. The most striking feature of the Oxagon is, as its name hints, its distinct octagonal shape. According to the press release, the reason that they picked this shape was to help minimize the city's impact on the environment and make optimal use of the land. Half of the city will be on the shore, while the other half will be in the sea. The areas in the water will be split up into several floating squares interconnected by smaller canals. These little islands will have a cruise terminal and oceanographic research center. The project's main developmental area will span 50 square kilometers. By 2030, the kingdom hopes to have 40 to 50 companies operating out of it and homes to support 90,000 residents and workers. By leveraging solar, wind, and green hydrogen, the smart city will run only on renewable energy. One of the most important features of the Oxagon is its location. It is strategically placed by the Suez Canal, where around 13% of all global trade passes through. More than $2 billion has been invested in building the first phase of Oxagon's port, which is promised to be sustainable and fully automated. Oxagon's industries cover seven sectors, sustainable energy, autonomous mobility, water innovation, sustainable food production, health and well-being, technology and digital manufacturing, and modern construction methods. Specific details on how the inhabitants of the Oxagon will live are to be revealed, but the kingdom has promised that they will have unrivaled access to nature, short commutes to work, and easy access to services. In January 2023, the CEO of Neom, Nadami Al Nasser, said they had completed around 20% of the city's infrastructure and that development was taking place within the expected time frame of 2030. On May 18th, the port of Neom opened up for business for the first time, living up to its promise of being completely automated and emission-free. The first new advanced container terminal is expected to open in 2025. This October, Neom also released footage showing the city's progress, revealing that a hospital, certain utilities, and multiple roads have been completed. The Oxagon will also be home to the world's largest green hydrogen plant, the Neom Green Hydrogen Company. This plant is slated to open in 2026 and construction is already underway. This plant is estimated to produce massive amounts of green hydrogen, up to 600 tons per day. This is a crucial project as many consider green hydrogen to be the next big source of renewable energy. Generating green energy uses no natural resources and the only waste it generates is water. It can also be compressed and stored in tanks for a long time. For Oxagon to develop into the booming industrial city Saudi Arabia is hoping for, it will need businesses and high-skilled workers willing to relocate to the new smart city. This is where Oxagon's strategic location may also become its weakness. Its remote location puts it hundreds of miles apart from the major cities of Riyadh and Jeddah. 
The Crown Prince plans to bridge this gap by connecting Oxagon's port with other parts of Saudi Arabia with a vast network of roads and railways. The Kingdom is also planning to expand the King Abdullah port facility between Jeddah and the Oxagon to reach a capability of 25 million TEUs. But the most ambitious plan to connect the Oxagon to the rest of the country is one of Neom's many other mega-projects, a city within a city called The Line. As its name suggests, this city stretches out 110 miles in a straight line. It links the Red Sea to Tabuk City, passing through mountains, valleys, and beaches along the way. It's also crucial in ensuring connectivity for the Oxagon. Until that is built, there is a risk of Oxagon becoming just another ghost city. But of course, with Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 plan to make the country a booming tourist destination and to diversify its economy from oil to a renewable industry, that is unlikely to happen. Apart from the Oxagon, the kingdom has given us a lot of amazing mega-projects to look forward to. Neom will be made up of a total of 10 regions and feature projects like The Line, Sindala, a luxury island destination, and Trojena a ski resort located in the hills 50 kilometers from the Gulf of Aqaba, which will host the 2029 Asian Winter Games. The plan is for Neom to be practically its own country within Saudi Arabia, exempt from the laws and legislations of the kingdom. Its residents will even be called Neomians. With the under-construction Oxagon prepared to open to the public soon, it will be interesting to see what the kingdom will think of next.